Hi YouTube, it is Sunday, happy Sunday, June 3rd, and um, I'm still pregnant. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I look all smiley and I just took a shower and it felt really good, but um, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I have never been quite so discouraged before. Um, sitting around trying to stay off my feet and not really having anything to do blows. <laughs> um, I, you know, the nurses said, hey, take advantage of this time, you know, get all the rest that you can and, you know, be lazy because this is the last chance you're going to get. And I understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, like, I have been being lazy for what seems like months now, and I just want to meet our little girl and, oh, and get my body back a little bit. I mean, I know it's going to take time, but just to be able to do, like, normal things. <laughs> That most people that, you know, I even took for granted every single day. Um, getting up to go to the bathroom is a chore right now. So, um, I didn't write anything down. Um, and honestly, I probably should have waited just another 24 hours to do this update. Because tomorrow I have my pre-admit with the hospital and an appointment with my doctor. And we're going to sort of discuss things. Um... But as of right now, I am 36 weeks and 5 days. So, um, and technically, you know, babies are to term um, at 37 weeks. So I'm just a few days away from that. And so this whole being on bed rest thing is pretty much crap then. Because then I will be up walking and doing stairs and everything I possibly can do within my power to get this baby out. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I know I would love to try, like, all those old wives' tales, like castor oil and stuff that's like that, but I think I'll just keep it a little low-key. Um, I did, um hear a recommendation about nipple stimulation and that can like really get things going so maybe just to get like a hand breast pump or something and um sort of get your first milk out and I guess that can sometimes induce contractions and stuff but um I I'm starting to wonder um just like the more reading and stuff that I'm doing <laughs> My, when I was tested for the gestational diabetes, the very first test that um, I did, I failed. And then when I went in for the three hour one, um, I failed the first one of the three, but then the last two were okay. So technically, they didn't actually diagnose me with gestational diabetes. But, um, and every time I've gone in for an appointment, they've checked my blood sugar just to, like, you know, keep an eye on things. And they said that it's been okay, but I don't know. Like, my diet hasn't been, um, healthy, per se. Um, I mean, let's face it. I just crave junk food <laughs> and sweet things. And, um, so... I haven't exactly been watching, like, because I know when you have gestational diabetes, you're supposed to watch your carbs and stuff like that. Um, but I, I get these moments where if I don't have something to eat, like, right away, like, it's not even funny. It's, um, it's not a matter of, like, a craving or anything either. It's like, if I know if I do not get food in me within the next two minutes, I will pass out. Um, and I get super, super shaky, and um, I feel like I'm going to vomit, and it, it's just sort of like nothing can stop me from hitting the fridge. And sometimes, like, even just, it happened 
I don't want to say yesterday, maybe the day before, like, in my mind, I was like, what is the fastest thing I can put in my mouth? And, um, that sounded bad. <laughs> um, uh, and I was like, sandwich, I can just make a sandwich. And as I'm making the sandwich, like, I'm shaking so much. Like, I was like, I'm not going to get the sandwich made in time. And it, that just, like, tells me that maybe something is still wrong with, like, my blood sugar. And um, even though every time they test it, it's okay, I wonder if it's just kind of sporadic. And, and I know the very first side effect, or not side effect, but symptom or whatever of gestational diabetes is um a big baby and I am gaining weight way faster than I should be and granted I do probably eat like four meals a day rather than three but um I I've been eating like that um pretty much from the second trimester on and like I was doing really well with my weight gain and um, now it's like, I'm probably gaining close to five pounds a week. Like, that's how it, that's what it feels like anyways. Like, my biggest, fattest clothes, um, pants, like, I am down to two pairs of capris that fit right now. Um, a pair of, like, spandexy shorts that I would never wear out of the house. I just wear them, like, to bed. And then one pair of jeans and the jeans are extremely tight like I'm really pushing it and those are maternity jeans and they're huge and um I even went to um because there was this wedding that we had in the family um this past Friday that I wasn't going to go to at first because I'm supposed to not be on my feet and stuff and um but we decided at the very last minute, you know what, like, I'm just going to be sitting in the car, and I'm going to be sitting at the wedding, it's not like I have to do anything, and if I really have to, I can put my feet up, it's not like anyone's going to care, um, so we didn't want to miss that, so we went to the wedding, and it, it was really nice, and as soon as, you know, I started feeling icky, like, my back just started getting really sore, and, um, then we just left, you know, and it was nice, but, what I was getting at was the there was one dress that I was originally planning on wearing for this wedding that I literally just tried on a week ago and it fit great and I had like a little cover up and I was like oh this will be perfect and I went to put it on and I could I could not pull it down like over myself it was ridiculous and I was like are you serious I gained that much weight that quickly and I know that my belly is getting bigger because I was just getting the stretch marks like below my belly button and it's like overnight all of a sudden there's like a dozen stretch marks above my belly button and I didn't even know you that happened um so yeah it's just and it's not like, I'm not going to, like, go on a diet or anything. Like, that's not cool either. I mean, I know I can watch what I eat and, you know, keep it low sodium and watch the carbs and the sugar and stuff like that and just drink a lot more water. But, um, at this point, it doesn't seem like it's going to make any real difference. And, I don't know, I guess... <sighs> I am praying so hard at this point like honestly and when you're when you're just sitting there and not doing anything like all I have to do is think about this pregnancy and this baby and so I get so consumed by it and I get all emotional and oh it's not good like and I've been trying to you know read a book or you know just like open the windows and um, we do have a nice balcony and stuff, and I did step out onto it today, and, but, um, there's not really a whole lot I can do at this point, uh, and my husband, he, I'm so proud of him, he and his dad and stepmom, um, are doing, it's called a ride for the arts, um, it's not a race or anything, but it's a bicycle ride through, like, Milwaukee, like, 
over this special bridge and all this stuff, and I guess there's thousands and thousands of riders that do it every year, and, um, it's like, it's just 25 miles, which isn't bad, I mean, he rides that all the time, so, um, but, you know, like, next year he'll do probably, um, a much larger ride, because they have a 50, and I think a 75 mile, I don't know, but his dad and stepmom are actually doing a century ride coming this fall, but anyways, so, any he's not here, <laughs> um, uh, he has his phone on him, uh, ready for a phone call in case I need him for something, but, um, so he's gone, so I don't even have him to amuse me at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, hey, there is one great thing I'm getting out of all of this. I have the most amazing nails ever. I don't know if you can see them. They are so long, and... <laughs> I know that found, sounds funny, but I have never had nicer nails in my whole life, and it's probably just thanks to those prenatal vitamins. But, um, so tomorrow morning, first I go over to the hospital, and I do my pre-admit appointment where we talk about my whole birth plan and, um, set up all of my insurance information and get myself, myself all into the system, so pretty much if I were to go into labor, then everything would already be done and we didn't have to deal with any like paperwork and stuff and then we get all of the birth certificate information all worked out and stuff for Brooklyn and um, so that's exciting and then after that I will have uh, an appointment with my doctor and um, I hope that she is sympathetic towards me and my state and I, I'm, at this point, I'm just praying that she finds a reason to, like, induce me. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but, because, I mean, she, I guess I'm not a doctor, so I'm, I'm not the right person to really make those decisions, but, because I do want Brooklyn to be healthy and fully developed and stuff like that, but, like I've said before, I, I cannot imagine staying sane and going like this for another three weeks. Nope. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for now. I will make another update after my appointment and everything tomorrow. And um, I guess I will talk to you guys later. Okay.